This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Chrome Industries Ruckus Sling Bag, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So the first thing that you'll probably notice is this does not necessarily look like things you might have seen from Chrome in the past, but I should note that it feels just about as durable, even though maybe it doesn't look that way. So the exterior materials that we've got listed here are 300D polyester Dobby, or Dobby, I'm never quite sure how to say that, and then 900D polyester. So on their site, it does say that this pack is made from recycled materials. I'm not sure if that's all of the materials, including like the liner and stuff, but nice to see that at least some of them are recycled but this stuff is very durable as you can see it looks pretty much like it did um, when i got it and i kind of as i often say put this thing through the ringer um, you know cycling going on adventures took it on a hike and it looks really good and it has performed very well even in light rain maybe not as water resistant as some of their x-pack stuff and other materials like that but it does a pretty good job and i'm very happy with it overall we've got ykk zippers here i like the pulls here you got the metal then you've also got the little paracord like material with the knot on the end really easy to grab onto and open and close this one here's got a little fabric belt which is nice to keep things dry and then we've got a Dur duraflex hardware from the buckle down to this little adjuster here not a ton of hardware but it works as you'd want it to on the front here we have this heritage style logo here I actually really dig this. It's kind of a step in a different direction from Chrome. We typically see like a big buckle or a big piece of metal or something like that. So this is like just a nice breath of fresh air. I really do think this is just as durable as a lot of their other packs, at least the ones that I have tested, but it's nice to switch things up every once in a while. There are three colorways available. Let me make sure I get them right here. We've got a natural, which is off white, black, and then oil green. And this is the oil green, which is a nice pop of color, but it's not really in your face, which I like. So. Depending on what I'm doing, I either want something, if I'm going with something that has a color, I want something super vibrant or I want it to be muted, not really in between. And I like this muted, especially if you're gonna go hiking or something like that. We've got a little handle here on the top. And I dig this handle because typically I'm not gonna carry this around and like my hand doesn't really even fit in there. I can fit a couple fingers in there and carry it if I need to, but I really just want a way to hang this. So if I'm not using it, I can hang it on a hook in my house hotel, Airbnb, wherever, you can hang it up there. But if you want to be able to carry this and you have, I don't really have big hands, but you can't really get your hand in there comfortably to carry it, but very nice for hanging and just makes it easy to use or easy to store it when you're not using it. So I'm moving to the back panel over here in the harness system. As you can see here, we've got a little piece of a hook and loop fastener there. So this pops off and you can put this on either side of the pack. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, or you just, maybe your shoulder gets tired on one side and you've been out you know, walking, exploring a new city all day, you can switch it to the other side so that shoulder can get some rest, switch it over to the other side. And when I first saw that this was a hook and loop fastener, at first I was like, wow, Chrome, that does not seem like something you do. It doesn't seem as stable as maybe a buckle or something like that, but I really like, you know, if you yank on this thing, it, you know, the corners came off a little bit there. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it did a pretty good job of holding tight and I haven't had an issue with it coming undone yet. So making it reversible, I really dig that feature. The strap here, we've got some aeration there, as you can see, and it's got some padding, not a ton of padding, but enough to stay comfortable. Two little attachment loops here, so you can attach gear on there if you'd like to. Um, you know, a carabiner, or like a little pouch or something like that, you can throw that on the front. Looking at the back panel here, again, we have a fair amount of padding but there isn't any aeration here. So I did notice, especially when I was riding my bike with this, it got pretty warm, but that's to be expected, even if it did have some aeration, but maybe the aeration could have helped a little bit. But overall, it's about as warm as other packs I've used, but if you really like mesh aeration on that back panel, this obviously does not have it. But overall, pretty happy with the harness system here. Not a lot going on, but it's comfortable. So I've got it on now, as you can see the strap coming across my body, but if I wanted to reverse it, I could easily do that just switch the hook and loop fastener. But something that I think's worth noting is that this pack is pretty big. So I am just a hair over six foot, about six foot and a half inch, and it's pretty big on my back. So if you do have a smaller frame, it's gonna obviously take up more of your body and 
that could be, I don't necessarily want to say claustrophobic, but just maybe a little bit big, depending on your frame size, especially if you are shorter or have a shorter torso. But overall, I'm very happy with the comfort of this thing. You can just throw it over your shoulder or undo the buckle and strap it and you're ready to go. And especially for how big it is, you know, it's, it is a larger sling or bag, uh, depending how you categorize it. So having that comfort to be able to carry a bunch of gear, especially if you're exploring a new place, new city is nice. So when it comes to secondary compartments, we've just got the one. I mentioned it earlier, we got this little fabric welt that almost makes it kind of hidden. Obviously you got the pull hanging out there, but you can kind of, you know, hide it under there, but it likes to make its way out as you're, you know, bobbing up and down. So we'll open that up and kind of flip that over. I just like to keep my phone in there or if I'm using my wallet actively, like if I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be getting food or something like that, I'll stow that in there. My iPhone 11 fits in there, no worries. Quite a bit of space inside this pocket. But when I first got this thing, I was really surprised that, so the pocket only goes to right here. So I, I don't know why I was just expecting it to go all the way to the bottom, bottom. And even sometimes when I stick my hand in there, I'm like, oh wow, I don't understand why this doesn't go to the bottom. And that's not a huge deal for me, but like I can still fit a ton of gear in here and I'm happy with what I can fit in there. But I like to carry a water bottle with me pretty much no matter what bag I'm carrying, what I'm doing. And I would really like it if I could stuff a water bottle in this front pocket. Obviously I, you could fit a smaller one in there, but I can't fit a bigger bottle or a bottle that I currently own inside there. And just feels like a little bit of a bummer, but overall this pocket is you know quick access and it does have that extra protection from water because of that uh, fabric welt that goes over the zipper. So very happy with this. There's no organization in there. We've obviously got this nice yellow liner. And again, I'm not sure if that's recycled, but it does its job well. You can see your gear pretty easily, even with, you know, it's kind of just like a little lid that opens and you can look in there. But because of that yellow, you kind of get a little bit of um, light reflecting off it, a little bit of extra sight, I suppose you could say. So happy with this pocket, good quick access. Or if you don't want to use it as a quick access pocket, just zip it up and it's really out of the way. So moving on to the main compartment, I want to note the zipper. As you can see, it starts here or ends here, depending how you look at it, and then comes all the way down here to the bottom. So we have this nice diagonal angle when you open it. And as you can see, when you open this thing, you can kind of really get a good look at what's inside and organize it fairly well, which I dig. And not obviously, but as you can see, we have two zippers. So if you want to leave your zippers wherever you want to leave your zippers, you can do that and just open it part of the way or open it all the way and get that good access. As I mentioned, just got my tech pouch in here right now. So if you're going to the coffee shop or something like that, you want to bring some chargers, uh, headphones. I keep a little emulator in there to keep me entertained. You could throw that inside here, quite a bit of extra space for things like that, packable jacket, whatever. So you've got a little bit of depth on this wall here and then a little bit of depth on the side as well. But big bulky items aren't gonna do super well in here, more just kind of daily use items that are more flat or not just huge, I suppose. But on this, um, I guess we'll call it a lid over here. We've got one zippered compartment. Just got my wallet stowed in there. That's where I typically like to keep that, just kind of for more safekeeping because it's more accessible, I suppose, if you're wearing this on your back and you have it in this front compartment. So I just like keeping it in there unless I know I'm gonna be using it and then I'll throw it in there just for quick access. But another thing to note is that, so this pocket ends right here. It's about the same spot that this front pocket ends. So you are sharing a little bit of space there between this front secondary compartment and then this whatever you stow inside here. This one kind of comes into the compartment and this one kind of comes up, but I just noticed when I had this thing really packed out that I didn't notice the, the sharing of space there. But we do have quite a bit of organization here, but not too much to get bogged down by. So on this back side, you can fit an iPad. You're not gonna be able to fit one of the bigger ones but a small to medium sized tablet, Kindle, whatever, is gonna be able to slide in there. There is a little bit of extra padding here on this liner material compared to this liner. So it does have some protection, but I would still use a case. You don't want to run the risk of cracking your iPad, especially while you're on vacation. So anything real flat, it's gonna fit nicely there. You can fit a book, notebook, whatever. In front of that, we have another liner pocket. As I said, not so much padding on this wall here. Just got a little fake passport and a field note stowed in there. So those both fit in there nicely. You could probably fit, you know, three or four more field notes on top of there just with the depth that you're given. Another good place to stow your wallet if you want to, you could put your passport inside the zippered compartment for that, you know, extra protection of another zipper. Just depends how you want to pack everything up. And then we've got these two pen sliders here. They're kind of small. You might be able to fit a thinner stylus or an Apple pen in there, but uh, not super thick or wide. So it does hold on to your pens nicely. They're not going to come out even, this, even if this thing goes upside down. 
Let me pull those out of there real quick so we can get a good look at the interior. As you can see, nothing really going on on the bottom there, but you can stow more gear inside here. So when it's empty, I can kind of show you that depth. It does have quite a bit of depth here. So you can stow large, but not too large or long items, like I said earlier. Really happy with what I can fit inside of here. For its size, um, it is, I guess maybe it does feel a little big for its uh, how much you can fit inside of it, its capacity, but I liked it. I mean, I don't really know what to say other than that. I can really use it for what I need to use it for. I don't typically bring a lot of big items with me. If I am, I'm typically bringing a camera and my camera doesn't really fit inside here. I have a few point and shoot film cameras that fit nicely into these sliders here. Or I could put it in this pocket. So if you do wanna bring you know, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, this really isn't the pack for you. But you could also wear this and then put all of your accessories in here. You could probably fit a lens inside this uh, secondary compartment. And then you have your camera on your other shoulder or underneath, like wear one this way and the other one this way. So there are options for that, but I've been rambling on long enough about this pack. I'm excited to see what other people think about this new direction from Chrome. I know they have a few other pieces of gear like this. This is the first piece I've tested and overall very happy with it. So there you have it, the Chrome Industries Ruckus Sling Bag. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker. You're getting to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.